Um, yeah, we are going out every day and doing a walk run. The goal today is to be out there by 11. It is 10.44, so we're on schedule. So at night, what I'm doing is writing in my little journal slash planner. This is a, it's literally a journal slash planner. It's like you have pages that look like that, and then you have pages that look like journal space. And so what I've been doing is just taking it day by day. I will write, so like last night, or day before last night, I wrote out what I wanted to do for tomorrow. I did everything on the list. And I also wrote the times that I wanted to complete them by. And then I did the same thing for today. So today's schedule looks like this. Work out by 11 a.m. Like get out there by 11 a.m. Go to the grocery store by 12 p.m. Shower and maybe do some work on this pitch that I'm working on. Do makeup on TikTok Live and go to my homegirl's mom's house because we have like a dinner celebration. So it's really about staying on schedule and also having a schedule helps me to not get bored and get on my phone. So like when I have a schedule that I'm sticking by, there's not a lot of time to be doing nothing. There's always something that I could be doing to keep me on schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and get outside. We are starting anew! Yeah, that's okay. We're starting anew. And I'm really, I'm excited for the journey. It will be a journey. Put my headphones on and pop. This is the look. Now you know what I gotta do? I gotta go down, get some more like summertime workout stuff, like short sets. I have a lot of like pants. I don't have a lot of shorts and I need to do that because it's too hot. Like to wear pants, talk about heat stroke, you know? All right girls, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Ooh. The sweat and sunscreen on these fucking headphone covers. Oh man. And the thing is, is that you need those headphone covers. If you have these headphones, I put them in my Amazon storefront for you to purchase because they're necessary. All right, let's talk about what I got from Trader Joe's because this week I would like to be cooking fresh meals for myself and I still have to go to the grocery store too. Number one, I got these vegan croissant croutons. What? Vegan croissant croutons. We gonna see what they talking about because I wanna make some salads. Got three things of salmon. I haven't been eating salmon for weeks. Low key like the last like two or three months I haven't had salmon. Not for nothing, it was just like, I was all salmon out. Like I feel like I was eating a lot of salmon. So yeah, I got some orange juice, organic orange juice, no pulp, 100% orange juice. I want my vitamin C, I want my potassium. I am taking a multivitamin, but um, if I can get my nutrients like naturally, then I'll do that. I got some dill. I put dill on a lot of things. I put dill on my eggs. I put dill on my fish. Um, that might be it, but whatever. I be using dill. I eat a lot of I eat a lot of eggs, and I tend to eat a lot of fish. This is the sunscreen I just purchased. I wanted a mineral sunscreen once and for all. And just something I could quickly like spray on. This has grapefruit oil and vitamin E in it. It's fragrance free and it's an SPF of 30. So I'm gonna start using this. I'm gonna go outside. Got some kale. Got some mini cucumbers. And along with just trying to eat better, I wanna snack better too. Got some cans of coconut milk for the rice. I cook my rice in coconut milk. I'll show you that one day. And re up on some organic brown eggs. But it is so hot. I ran again today. Tap it up, tap it up. No, 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 get it, get it. I did do that. Walked a few miles, ran, sprinted, jogged. Um, and I'm feeling, right now I'm feeling a little tired, but I'm also not gonna lie, I do feel pretty good. I do feel pretty good. I feel like I could do the next things on my list. Now, remember how I put like times on my journal? I'm not over here being strict and being like super anal about making sure everything happens at that time and if it doesn't beat myself up, no. Really the time as I'm writing it out, it just helps me think about the day. And like I said, it 
you know, when I go back and look at it throughout the day, if I do, because yesterday I didn't, I just remembered what I planned to do. But if I needed to go back and see what I had written the night before, I can see like, you know, if that's something I could be doing at this time instead of what I would be doing, which is just sitting there watching TV or scrolling on my phone. And so now I'm about to go to the other grocery store. Isn't it crazy how like my body looks and feels stronger to me, even though I didn't do like arm stuff, it still feels like I did, kind of. I'm gonna go run out while I'm looking like this to the grocery store. I'm not taking headphones because it's just too hot. It's too hot and I kind of want to not listen to anything. So I'm gonna just go out there get what I need from Whole Foods, come back, and then shower, and uh, do a little bit of work. So yeah, I'll see y'all later, bye. I lied, I did wear headphones. Shout out to Egypt, who I just ran into at Whole Foods, you were a vibe. Um, okay, now, you thought I was gonna pass these up? I think not, but we had to get them, they were staring at me, and so, I got these beautiful roses. Are they deep thorns? It looks like it. Beautiful. Can't wait to set them up. They are quite literally gorgeous. I got this purple rice. I've told y'all about black rice. I love black rice. And I have not seen an abundance of it out here. But I saw this and I was like, let me buy it. Even though it was expensive for it to be this small. We got the Mommy Boost juice. Uh, this has apples, carrots, beets, ginger, limes, and spinach. I think I'm gonna take me a few shots of this. We got some more yogurt. I got some organic chicken, which I'm gonna put in the freezer, and then Parmesan cheese. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this chicken. I wish I could buy like a smaller version of this, but whatever. So this week, I'm going to challenge myself not to buy sweets. Technically, my no processed sugar situation starts in August, but I'm in the mood to start now, so it's like, why not start now? Oh, I forgot these are clean. Damn, this can't get clean at all. Mm -mm. I have not been liking the way these glasses been coming out. They've been looking hella fucking foggy. Looking foggy. Yeah, like, what is this? What you supposed to do if you feel like your dishwasher not washing properly? Yeah, like this looks crazy. Can you see like the ring around it? Maybe you can't see it, but I can. And I don't like that shit. I like my glasses look pristine. Like I can't even set this one up here. It's got crud in it. The rest of the glasses look okay. These roses are huge. Like look how big that is. Huge. I think I'm about to cut these down. They kind of big. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. House is low key kind of a mess. So don't worry about that. But this is what I'm wearing to dinner. It's just a little dress. This dress is, um, I think it's pronounced Shayna Moat. And I got it from a thrift store, actually. I have one of these little Steve Madden mules. Cute little sandal, little anklet. Another thrifted find. And earrings are from the Lovisa in London. Um, but yeah, this is the look, and I'll see y'all later. Pink. Hey, you unbuckle your pants. What's she gonna do next? You got it wrong. It's not so she has a story. Okay, lunch. We've got kale with red peppers and green peppers, some cucumber. We've got that purple rice and some salmon uh, with that I cooked with dill. A little bit of honey on top and lemon, oregano, thyme, black pepper. What? This is the purple rice that I used and all these facts about it. Purple rice contains four to five times, come on now, please. Contains four to five times more antioxidants than blueberries. Wow. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Nice little lunch with a glass of lemon water on the side. Yum. Okay. <clears throat> I did end up 
popping that big ass pimple I had. So today, I hope it goes down in size because I got some place to be on Sunday and I would like to look cute. I'm trying this new sunscreen from Trader Joe's. This is the mineral sunscreen. Looks like that. Oh, nice spray. Am I supposed to rub it in? Oh, you can apply it on your face too. sprays on just rub that in mm. but it is kind of casty also spray some on my neck okay I'm going out I'll see y'all when I get back bye I did what needed to be done <sighs> yeah another day another run girl it's me really thinking that I'm doing something, but I really am. Like, no, no, I really am. So, I need to stretch out, but I just ordered a new yoga mat because I realized that these, these disinfectant wipes that you use at yoga places, they were tearing my mat up. So now, when I sit on my mat, it be tearing up. And I'll stand up with a whole bunch of little black pieces on my body, so. I just ordered another one. I ordered a different one, it's not as thick, but I love this thick one, because it lets me do stuff like directly on my knee without my knee being like, bitch, what the fuck going on? So, the thick one is in my Amazon store. The one I just bought, I haven't put it in there yet, because I don't know if I like it. Everything in my Amazon store is stuff that I like. Okay, so, today's plan. I have to go and buy some safety pins, because I'm wearing some pants tomorrow that I want to hem up. I did not go and get them altered yet, so I need to pin them. So I need to go get some safety pins. I'm thinking CVS might have them, fingers crossed. We'll see, because I also have to get an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. So I'm gonna just try and do a two for one at CVS. I'm feeling good. I'm doing better with running. Like I'll run for a cool like 30 seconds to a minute and then I'll walk and I'll walk for like two to three minutes and then I'll run again. So it's just like these short distances but I'm doing more of them. Like the first time I did it, I did it like twice. Um, the, the second day I did it, I did it I think like twice again. The third time I did it like three or four times and this time I did it like four or five times. So we are doing good and like eventually it'll turn into like longer runs. Like I definitely ran longer than I did on the first day. But I'm not doing a lot of comparing. I'm just kind of like letting my body show up how it's showing up today. Cause I'm sure there are days where I'm not gonna feel like, you know, running that much. So. Yeah, I'm not I'm not putting a lot on it. I'm just trying to, you know, keep up with this regimen that's getting me out of bed and getting me active every day. And also making me sweat. I think that's good for my skin, like to be sweating like this. Okay, so I'm gonna run, not literally, I'm gonna walk to CVS, see if they got safety pins and stuff. And then um, come back here, shower. And honestly, I'm gonna just like clean up my house a little bit. It's not dirty, I just like have stuff in the living room they don't even be in here so i'm gonna just like organize my spot maybe do some laundry and do some work today i'm gonna get some editing done today for the vlog next week i'm gonna have two videos coming out a get ready with me and a vlog okay <clears throat> i look hideous without the headphones like at least the headphones are hiding the fact that my hair is so undone I, of course, I ran into a boy who was trying to talk to me today. Um, he like, can we running backwards trying to keep up with me? I was like, yeah. Um, I don't have the time, baby. I'm on the run. I got a guy. Um, and he cute and all, but he got a dangling earring. It's like, I can't take you seriously while that earring is slapping you up against the jaw as you run. Like, you, we got to pick one back. You already about six, 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 seven. So it's already given you're going to have weak knees by the age of 60. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's just my theory. I ain't never seen no super, super tall ass nigga over the age of 65. That's me. I'm saying that. You know? You, you know what I'm pointing about. Not ones that can't get constant care. Like, don't bring up no, you know, super famous basketball player. They don't count. They getting them legs real nightly. But yeah, that's one of my personal concerns with men who are tall. And also, men who got light eyes. Like, baby, 
we got about 30 years with the mind before all of a sudden we got to go to the optometrist, obstetrician, opto, whatever the, whatever the eye doctor's name is. And he gonna have to take a look at your pupils cause something's wrong with the cranium. Like something's wrong with the outer sphere or something. That's, with light eyes, I just worry about the sight, eyesight. I worry about eyesight. Like as we get older, our eyes get lighter. I always notice that. And what do they call that? Cataracts. So I'm just like, baby, you got early cataracts? I'm not trying to look at no blue-eyed black man. That's too much for me. Now I'm scared. Because imagine them lights go off. Now all of a sudden I'm sleeping next to a white walker. I don't think so, baby. No. Now, you gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? Now this that's the only time I'm gonna be okay with a colored eye contact. I want you to put in a brown, dark brown color eye contact if your eyes are blue. I don't wanna see that every day. That's scary to me, to me when the lights go off. I don't wanna see that. Or like early in the morning, ah! Good God, scary horror movie. Mm -mm. Okay, let me go to CBS. bye. Okay, today's lunch. Salmon, kale, and some couscous. Yum. One of the reasons why I feel like I haven't been vlogging is because honestly, I'm sick and tired of looking at myself and I'm sick and tired of looking at myself looking like this. And this is basically, what I mean by that is like, just always looking like home. Like this is how I look at home. In real life, y'all would never see me like this for real. If y'all saw me out, I would be put together, for the most part. Unless you saw me like grocery shopping or something. Um, yeah, so it just be annoying. Cause I genuinely feel like I'm, I be doing myself a disservice looking like this. <laughs> I got this Caesar salad salad mix from Trader Joe's. And I got the mix just to encourage me to eat a salad, you know? I can buy individual croutons, which I did last week. But I was like, let me just buy the, the pack because that's easier for me, making it easier for myself, you know? And just like that, they have a Caesar salad. And you don't need the whole pack of dressing. I did make a little salad earlier today, but yeah, you don't need the whole pack. Unless you like a lot of dressing. I don't like when my salad be like hella, hella dressing on it. Putting a little pepper in there. And I'm going to tear this up. Do I want a little bit more cheese? Yeah. I literally bought parmesan and crouton last week for me to make Caesar salads, but I never bought the lettuce. Also, I'm trying to get out of that thing of like saving stuff for a particular reason. Like I was like, oh no, you need to eat that like when you're trying to eat lunch or like save it for another day. But it's like, no, you're hungry. Eat it right now. And I'm in the mood for a salad. So I'm about to finish Kill Bill volume two and enjoy the salad. Hi, hello, good morning. It is 7.45. do my run, my run walk. But it is kind of turning into like a run, you know what I mean? I'm walking the majority of the time, but I do get some sprints in there and some jogs in there, straight up. I don't try to avoid them, I actually look forward to when I start running. I'm gonna go out and do this, and I'll see y'all when I get back. Bye. Okay, first of all, I ran for the longest amount of time I've ever run. I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Literally, I like had a big smile on my face when I completed, uh, I was making a lap. And when I made it, I was just like, wow, I did it. Oh, great feeling. Can we talk about the atrocity that is Whole Foods prices? I don't think I ever sat and paid attention to the like 
major difference in price it is to Trader Joe's. Like everything that I got today from Whole Foods, if I would have got this from Trader Joe's, it would have been, I don't know, 50 bucks, maybe, maybe 50, probably like 45. This is insane actually. I spent a hundred dollars on this and I don't even have a meal in here. I did get a Caesar salad mix again. Um, and already, like, just looking at it, it's not the same amount. It looks sad, but I really wanted to be able to have a salad today. So I just went ahead and got that. But God damn, what really be charging, what really be um, costing a lot, I think, is the fruit. I also got green juice. This one has apples, cucumber, celery, kale, cilantro, and lime. I did get, like, a good olive oil okay i got some things that were expensive but it's like why is it that expensive like this was 18 dollars. why is this 18 dollars? why would i spend 18 dollars? don't ask me i was just trying to be a good samaritan i got some black beans i got plantain i got some watermelon and pineapple some more eggs and some olives i also got some carnations carnations last so long and I just felt like having a flower that lasted longer than a week. Sue me. All right, I'm gonna get in the shower and then I'm gonna come back and eat and stuff. See you in a bit. The Roman, oh. Hello? Okay. Nasty, nasty girl. It's on me the thing. Boo, 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 boo. Let me tell you the crazy difference in price between Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. I just came from Trader Joe's, got a whole bunch of shit. Sixty dollars. Sixty damn dollars. Sixty dollars. Which still is not cheap. You know what I'm saying? When we're talking about groceries, but it is because honestly, sixty dollars is what I would spend on like a really nice meal, you know what I'm saying? Like if I go someplace really nice, where at this stage of the game, like I'm going to really nice places when I go to restaurants. So that's normally what the bill gonna be when you add up, you know, if you get anything outside of water, you get a dessert, it's gonna cost you around four to six now. Let me show you what I got because girl, we're cooking tonight. Okay, I will say this, I have a very black ass palette, but every now and again, I like to tiptoe towards the Europeans the Caucasians, if you will, and nibble on their food. So tonight, I will be eating shepherd's pie, my own rendition of shepherd's pie. Let me show you what I got. Number one, I went ahead and bought the Caesar salad that I like from Trader Joe's, and I think I'm gonna return the one from Whole Foods because let me show you the difference. Like, to me, it's disrespectful. And this was more expensive than this. Like, let's talk about it for a second. A lack of vibrancy. Vibrancy. It's a few bad apples. Oh no, that's croutons. I was about to say some bad apples in there. But no, that's croutons in the back. But you see the vibrancy in the leaves. And also look at the difference in these bags. Like, can we talk about it? No, how much is this Caesar salad from Whole Foods? For real. That's why I hold on to my receipt. I'm not playing about keeping my receipt. What did it say? Hello? $4.99. And the Caesar salad at Whole Foods. $3.99. I'm paying a dollar more for a small ass bag. So this is going back. It's going back. Okay. What I also got. Okay, Trader Joe's. I bought some organic ground beef. It's 100% grass fed. Now, that's not normally the ground beef that I would buy. Like, I buy the ground beef that's in like the little plastic cart with the, the plastic film on top and you can see it and it looks like it's been shredded and like placed in there. That's what I normally buy. But I'm like, why don't I step it up a notch, right? And get me some good ground beef and just see if I feel different or if it even tastes different. So I'll keep you posted on that. I got some green onions. Basil, fresh thyme, chives, and rosemary. All of which I will be using tonight. And also there's another meal that I wanna make a few days from now. I wanna make like a nice big chunky pasta with like big pasta, like big pieces of pasta, not spaghetti. I always use like a noodle. I wanna use pasta. Ooh, it's kinda packed in here. Oh wow. 
Barely have space. No, I got legit barely, barely have space. Just making some space. My my fridge is kind of packed right now. But I do need to do a fridge clean out. Like I have stuff in there that I'm not even touching that I know is not good anymore. Okay. We got some broccoli because I'm going to use that as my side for the shepherd's pie. And then I have the golden potatoes that I'll be using. I also got, I got some Japanese potatoes um, from Whole Foods. I love these. Um, they are sweet and they're so good. I got some butter, an onion, some garlic, a green pepper, and a red pepper. Okay, for the cheese, I'm gonna put cheese on top of the pie when I'm done. And I saw this cheese, at first I was just gonna do mozzarella and Parmesan, but then I saw this mix. It's a, sh a mix of, um, or it's a shredded blend of Parmesan, Asiago, Fontina, and mild provolone. I said, oh, fuck it, you know what I mean? Let's try it. And then I got these little mini mozzarella balls, which I don't have to use all of these. I don't plan on using all of them. So it's these little pre-packaged mozzarella balls and I'll just stick a few in the pie when I put it in the oven and let it do what it do. But also this is really good, like maybe tomorrow I'll make myself like a caprice salad, isn't that what it's called, caprice salad? Cause I got basil, I got tomatoes and now I have mozzarella. I think that's what it is, a caprice salad. It's something girl, but I know I like it. We're clear. Okay. Um, I got some green grapes. This is to try to like curb my sweet tooth, but it's not gonna work. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm doing a little no processed sugar situation starting in August. So yeah. Um, I got diced and fire roasted tomatoes to use as like a tomato base for the meat that'll go on top of the shepherd's pie. Also got these organic olives. Just wanted to try something different. I got the my regular Kalamata olives from Whole Foods, but I wanted to have like an olive assortment when I do my Caprigi salad or whatever the hell it's called. It's called bringing luxury to your home, okay? And then I got some corn because that will also be a part of the shepherd's pie. So I think, oh, hold on. I needed to get a pan to cook it in. Well, to bake it in. I'm gonna cook it on a regular saucepan, but after I cook it up, I'm gonna put it in this pan and put it in the oven for like 10 minutes. I have some sour cream. I didn't know if one was gonna be enough, so I got two. I love sour cream. And I also got um, barbecue sauce because I will be using barbecue sauce um, and tomatoes as like the sauce for the meat. I'm gonna show you how I make everything because honestly, here's what I know for sure. When white people make their shepherd's pie, it's not made this way, okay? I'm doing it totally different. So it's so hot outside that if you shower and decide to go back out, you will need to shower again. Like, it's disgusting outside. Like I thought I would be able to step out real quick, get this stuff, come back. Girl, the way sweat was rolling down into my butt crack, I said, oh wow. Well, there goes that shower. Should I shower first or should I start something first? I feel like there's nothing really to start. Like if I start, I'm gonna be starting. Oh no, I could put the potatoes. I'm gonna put the potatoes on the stove. So if I was just making like mashed potatoes, I wouldn't skin these. But since I'm not making mashed potatoes, um, I will be skinning these. I, I like the skin on, on mashed potatoes. I like the texture of it. But for shepherd's pie, you don't wanna you don't wanna keep the skin on. It's gonna rain. I came back just in time. Okay, so I'm gonna check back in 
once I start like cooking the bees and stuff so you can see that process. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a few. Step numero uno, chopping these up. Well, actually, this is step uno. Boiling these potatoes. They're actually done, so I can turn this water off. And I have this ready, because I'm gonna throw this in the saucer and start cooking these as soon as I turn the potatoes off. Okay. I'm gonna saute the red and green peppers, and I don't put the onion in yet, like the onion's still sitting here, because onion cooks a lot quicker, and so I put that in once I put the beef in. So I'm just sauteing this a little bit before I get the beef in there. Like, basically I'm about to open up the beef right now and put this in. Okay, so now the beef is all cooked up. The onions are in there, the green peppers, the red peppers. Now I'm gonna add the diced fire roasted tomatoes. Okay, just mash the potatoes with the fork. Now I added some salt and pepper and some butter and I'm just gonna keep mashing until the butter is melted and then we're gonna add the sour cream. Now golden potatoes have this like savory, almost a little sweet taste to them and so you don't have to add sour cream. I add sour cream because I like sour cream. I'm gonna put like a dollop of sour cream in here and stir it up. Okay, I chopped up some chives and I'm just gonna stir that up. You really don't need sour cream. The more that I taste it, like sour cream, you don't need, not for golden potatoes. If these were rusted potatoes, I would say get you some sour cream. But for these, you don't really need it. They're so buttery. I'm gonna butter this pan up. My hands are clean. This pan is a little small, but we'll be okay. Just wanna make sure it's all buttered up because we don't need no burning of any sort. Just making sure it's completely covered. Okay, I'll just break this butter up. Take my potatoes. I'm not gonna force all this in here either. These were, how many potatoes? I think I had five like medium-sized potatoes. And this pan is slightly small. So I still have some potatoes left. I'm not gonna force them in there. Let's taste it. Yeah, that's cool. A good mozzarella or parmesan would be just fine. I was just curious about this cheese. I'm gonna do a nice even layer. Now let's fill it up. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you when I say this looks and smells delicious. I'm gonna start putting on the mozzarella balls and basil. I have the oven preheated, so then I could just stick this in. Get those in there. I don't feel like opening up a whole nother one, so it's just gonna look like this. Hold on. Ah, I'm so proud of myself. So this is what it looks like, and I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Foil on top, we'll see how that works. I'm gonna check on it like in a couple of minutes and see if it's in there crackling. But, ah, I did it, I did it. It's such an easy meal to make too. The thing that'll take the longest is honestly you waiting for the potatoes to soften up when they're boiling. Other than that, everything goes by so fast. I wish I had better lighting, but this is the finished product. I'm gonna put it on the plate and show you what time it is. Hold on. I say let's just dig right in. Oh, uh oh, we're making a mess. Oh. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's this the wrong damn cheese. I should have just got Parmesan cheese. Cause I think it's the Asiago cheese that's making it have some kind of 
different taste. I don't like that. It's not bad, it's just like, all it needed was a Parmesan cheese. Okay, this is what our plate looks like. Potatoes are all in there, nice cheesy potatoes. The meat is on top. And then the basics, basic. Let's do a ta 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 No, 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 bitch, I don't give a fuck. Three good, three good. Oh, and see, this is just me. Let's take a little bit of this, all right? And you put a dollop of sour cream on top. Now you enjoy that. But yeah, um, my friend is downstairs. I'm scandalous right now for not rushing down there, but I wanna finish this. Okay, see you girls when I get back. Bye. Chill up. Mama did some shopping yesterday. One plat out, okay. Ah, and two, boink. So let's do Zara first. Oh, also, let's do this first. Popped in here, found these earrings. Border. $10. Found this dress at Zara. Great quality. It is so stretchy and thick. Stretchy and thick. I'm actually going to try it on right now. You can see all my bits and pieces, so I'm not going to get in the camera, but it, um, I like it, it's cool actually, it's not even all that. But what I love about it is that there's no slit in the dress. I'm really hating fucking slits in dresses right now. But yeah, it's not bad. It's a nice little, I have a white dress type thing. It's see-through though, it's deaf see-through. Um, but it's tight as fuck. Hmm, I actually don't love it. Okay, the last thing is just this like hot pink fuchsia top. I have a whole bunch of these. Is this my guy? Okay, it's mine. I have a whole bunch of these tank tops. I love them. There's additional lining at the bra part, so your your boobs aren't just like hanging out. Um, there is a slight, and when I say slight, I mean slight bit of support for your boobs. But I always get a size small in these. I like them to fit nice and tight to the body. These shoes I found at Neiman are on sale. The brand is Viacori. They are originally $690, then they dropped to $414, then they dropped to $172, and I got an additional $20 off. So I spent whatever $20 off of $172 is. Oh, I can tell you right here. Here's my receipt. I spent $149.85. Pop, yeah. So we have some additional shoe caps at the bottom, or shoe taps. There is a dust bag for the shoes, and bam! Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Bitch, that basic ass shoe, bitch, where are you going to? Fucking promo, homecoming, bitch, what the fuck going on? And here's what I'm gonna tell you. Kiss my big black butt. Um, these shoes are great for a I just feel like wearing heels tonight moment. 
you know, you got some, you know, I'm a cargo bitch. I, 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 at this point, you just gotta kinda own your bag. So I love cargos. I have cargos in damn near every color. Not really. I have cargos in every neutral color you can think of. And for me, it's like, hey, sometimes I wanna put a heel on with them cargo looks. And this heel is perfect. I love the chrome. And I also love a sandal like this. And I'll show y'all when I have an outfit on, but I'm happy with this purchase. For 149 bucks, when it dropped from basically $700, I did it. Um, yummy. I'm gonna put a little bit of balsamic on top because I feel like I want that on there. But yes, we got some basil, some cut up uh, cherry tomatoes, some mozzarella, olive oil, and black pepper. Mm, looking a little rough, but just got a very important package. This is my first time shopping with this brand. Ooh, it smells like factory. Ooh, it has a smell to it. The smell is horrible, I gotta let it air out. But this is cute as fuck. Cute as fuck. Yeah, I wanted this. The other bags are vegan leather, AKA plastic, but I don't like how they look, like it's warped around the Telfar emblem. Um, so when this jelly version came out with Melissa, y'all remember Melissa's back in the day? Like, you were cool if you had Melissa's on. I never had Melissa's. Those are the little clear shoes with the M on it. Never had Melissa's, but definitely always wanted a pair. And so this just feels like my grown gift to myself. You know what I'm saying? Honoring that little seventh grader who begged for shoes that I never got to get. So yeah, I'll be using this as a work bag. You know, this will fit my laptop in it. So I can use it as a work bag. Um, I can use it as this big like shopping crossbody bag if I need to. But really, I have a trip coming up and I intend on using this as a beach bag. It was on the beach. I love the ridges on the bottom and I love the thickness of it. Very cute. Okay, girls, I wanna show y'all something. Oh, my back pockets have buttons. Okay, let's say you walk into some place. Oh my God, burr, burr, it's cold. Pull this out your back pocket. You shake it out. You do one of these. You make sure it's sitting up right. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me, girl. You feel what I'm saying? Like, look at me from the back. You know what I mean? Like, understand that. Um, and yeah, don't talk to me about a man. Let's see. Uh, take that in. But how nifty is that? And I can go on by myself. I ain't got to say, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we really talking about? What are we, what are we, what are we really talking about? What are you talking about now? We good. I'm trying to decide between purses, actually. I'm thinking I'm gonna go to this purse. I just wish that this bag, I wish that this was bigger so that I could comfortably put it under my shoulder. It's like not a shoulder bag without looking stupid. Like that looks dumb. Like my armpit is suffocating, that's stupid. So you're not supposed to wear like that, it should be a handbag. But I like wearing my bag up here, I don't like having to hold it. I like being free with my hands. But I feel like this is the better bag to take. Cause it's just like a cute primary color to match the other primary colors I'm wearing on my scarf. Um, This is like my go-to, I want a little bit of color bag. I'm not really feeling her, actually. I'm kind of bored by her with this little outfit. I'm just going to meet some friends and third wheeling some friends of mine for dinner. Um, I have not turned on my camera for a few days and for no particular reason at all, I just simply haven't had anything to say. And I am like, okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to just like have nothing to say. I don't wanna be feeling forced to like come up with stuff to talk about and all of that. Like obviously life has been life in, cause life gone life, but everything doesn't need to be shared. That's where I am right now. And I know for some folks it's like, bitch, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm here for. And I get that, um, but I really just haven't been feeling very sherry. 
feeling gloomy. Yeah, I just haven't been feeling very shitty. Anyway, um, there are some like minor updates that we can catch up on, so we'll do that later. Um, I am wearing a half face of makeup. There's no makeup at the bottom of my face. I just have on concealer and I did my brows and my lashes. That's what I need to do. I need to wipe off the mascara on my eyelids. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Get out of my cooch. Um, how about this? Let's just talk about what we haven't done. Let's talk about what we're doing. Okay, thank you. We're not about to go to Kennedy where you been, Kennedy. Just shut up. We're here now, right? Okay, so. Oh. Let's talk about it. Um, so, number one. Today is Friday. Friday, August 11th, right? Yeah, August 11th. And I am seeing Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter today for the second time. And I am so excited. I won't be sitting in the pure honey seat. Now I'm sitting in a seat that will let me see the whole stage. And I'm so excited to see the show from that view because although my seats were so fucking bomb in London, I could not see the whole screen and I couldn't see the whole stage. Just like I could, I mean, I could see the whole stage, but for a lot of the concert, I was looking at the side of Beyonce and the back of Beyonce, you feel me? Cause my seats were literally on the stage. So now I'll be able to like watch the screen and see all of the production and the visuals and stuff. So yeah, those are some things to note about those pure honey seats. Okay, a few updates. So number one, I got my first pair of pants altered. Oh, wow. oh, Yes, so I got the waist adjusted. So originally, cause I had bought all these pants from Levi's, right? I'll show you all the pants I got from Levi's. I bought all these pants from Levi's and I was like, bet, like I'm gonna go and get these pants adjusted here at Levi's because at this particular Levi's, they have someone there to do your alterations. So I'm like, bet, perfect. Let me go ahead and pay for that too. They was like, it'll be $50 per pants. Stop the track. <laughs> Stop the track, right? I'm never going to pay anyone $50 to alter the waist on my pants when I know that it really costs 20 to 25 bucks. I said, girl, p p pass me my pants back. We're done. So I went to an alteration spot and they altered my pants for $25, which is crazy. Like, not I got it for half the price. She's like, they probably gonna charge you more. I'm like, mm, I doubt they're gonna charge me more. Put my pants in the bag, girl. Um, so let me show you all the pants I got from Levi's. The pants that I got altered already, are from J Crew. I just wanted to see how they were gonna do because one of the things I know is that people be needing to find a good person to do their alterations. And I'm sure there's someone better out there. I think this guy will do for now, even though they did low key lose my pants. I had to like go find them. Um, yeah. Okay, so anyway, these are some Levi's I got. These are Baggy Dad Levi's that I thought fit really cute, but I do need to get the waist adjusted. I always, I always, like I always do this. When I got those adjusted, I left a little room. One, just in case I get a little bit bigger. And two, you know, bloating, eating, like you know, a little space. And also so that I can pull them hoes up. They were hard to get up. Like I have a big butt for my waist. Okay. So pulling those, you know, 26 inch waist pants, up this 40 inch ass is a lot. Acid washed pants. Also got these from Levi's. They fit really cute. Need to get the waist adjusted. Considering turning these into shorts, I haven't decided yet, but I just thought they were super cute and I don't have this wash of jeans. So I said, let me get it. That ain't it, that ain't it. I also got, oh, mind you, I got all this on sale. It was buy one, get one, and some of these pants were like 70% off. That's why I was like, went ham. These, so cute. I don't need to get these adjusted. They fit pretty good, but I don't have this wash of pants, and I thought this was really cute, so I got these. And then the other pants that I got are some low rise, and I wore them already, so they're in the hamper, but yeah, I did wear those the other day. Love them. Got some low rise denim from Levi's. And these J. Crew pants that I got, they're some high waisted pants and they just fit super cute. And so, like, my butt looks really good. 
And yeah, this is a slim wide leg situation. Another update on purchases. I bought some new shoes. I got all these shoes on sale. I got them on the Essence sale. So we'll start with the Attico heels. Very, very cute. They are comfortable, like as comfortable as a heel can be. It still feels like you're wearing a heel, but they don't feel like, ooh, my feet gonna be hurting. Like, no, like I could wear these casually, which is the reason why I bought them. Also, because the heel is not like a kitten heel, but it is a shorter heel. So these can be worn casually. And yeah, I just, trying to kind of like, you know, elevate my wardrobe. You know, if I would normally pick out some other shoe, I now have this shoe that I can throw on. I got these bad boys. Yeah, yeah. These are the Paris, Texas platforms. And so cute, so hot. Love them very much. Very, 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 very happy with this purchase. And then my last shoe that I got, well actually, I have two more pairs, but this is the last from like luxury brands. These are Magda Boutram. I really don't love these shoes on me. Like this is actually a purchase that I'm like kind of annoyed by. It's a good shoe, I just don't love it because it's so basic. It's just like, I don't know. I could have, you could find this in a cheap shoe. I'm trying to make better decisions with my purchases. Um, and I just don't love how it looks on my foot. The heel isn't high enough for me. Yeah, it's just not a high enough heel. But whatever. I got these. These were the most expensive out of the bunch. Just like, not for me to not even like them. And then I have one pair of cheapy shoes that I got from the mall from the sh uh, store Akira. This brand in Akira is really the best one. Azalea Wang. I got these little wedges from out of there because I'm going to Turks and Caicos at the end of the month for a friend of mine's birthday. And I just thought these were so cute. They're really cute on. And yeah, I said, fuck it. I'm gonna buy it. These are them. Very cute, not mad at it. And that's that. That's that for new purchases. Now, let's get into tonight, right? What's the doll wearing for tonight? Oh, I can show you this too. One more purchase. Bling bling, bitches is mad. I think that's it for things that I've bought for tonight. So the plan is we're all going to my homegirl's house to get ready. I'm most likely gonna get ready here. I hate to have to take stuff to somebody's house and get ready because if I forget something, I'm pissed. So I'm just like, let me just help everybody out by just getting ready here. And I'll go there and do like the, the little final stuff, like my studs, and that's it. Um, or maybe like I'll get dressed there. But yeah, we ain't got time to be realizing shit ugly. You know what I mean? Once I get there, let me put all that let me put all that shit on now. The concert doors open at 5.30. We're gonna get there at 5.30. I'm still gonna use that clear bag that I used when I was in London because Atlanta Stadium don't play, so like I need a clear bag. And that's it really, that's it. I'm about to snack on a little something. I don't know what I'm doing for my hair. I kinda wanna leave it like this, but I wish this was like a two days ago when I still had some structure. Now it's just kinda like frizzed out, but it doesn't look bad. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm gonna beat the face. Maybe that's what I need to do, wash my brushes. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <sighs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that was an amazing concert. Let's talk about my outfit real quick. First of all, I took all these little body gems that I got from the beauty supply store and stuck them all over my body. I wore this little fringe number that I got from Dolls Kittle. Now, this ain't for everybody, you know what I'm saying? This is a Kennedy special. Now, I could not find cute pasties, so I had to get the regular, regular pasties, and I just put gems on top of the pasties. I'm also wearing a matching fringe bottom, okay? And what I did was literally what you see here, which is just, I wore this dress as a skirt. So I had it like this, and I was ding, 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 walking around. I also have the gems on my legs. 
The jeans are also on my legs. And as you can see, the cuteness stops right upon the ankle, okay? As we head down to the foot. I'm wearing Converse because I wanted to wear a comfortable shoe. And I also just didn't have any cute black shoes to wear with this outfit. So it was just like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck, I don't give a fuck. Now as far as my head, I'm wearing a half wig. Okay, I sprayed this down with the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Hairspray. It made it nice and shiny and it also made it smell good. That was the biggest reason why I sprayed it down because it smelled like 2017 when I bought it. So yeah, sprayed it down and then I just put on a headband on top. I'm actually about to take it off and feel the sweet relief. Whew. that was a great concert she beyonce was having a ball at this show like i don't think i said nothing but at the london show i could tell she wasn't feeling it and i think part of it is like i think she likes performing for black audiences like i think when she sees a lot of the girls in the audience it does something to her you know what i'm saying she even said like this feels like home right now on the mic and i'm just like i better do i better do but yeah she was really feeling it and you could tell she was feeling it and it was a great show it was a great show the energy was amazing i had an amazing time and so this time i was sitting further back and i could see like the entire stage even though i was further back i was center so i could see everything it was a great view man it's just a good ass show and part of what makes it a good ass show is the music it's like if you love beyonce's music then you'll love that concert yes most of the songs are going to be from this newer album but she does a lot of her old music and like mixes old music in with the new music it's just done really well i have a long day tomorrow my friend is proposing to his girlfriend and I have to help him tomorrow morning. So I'm actually about to go to sleep because I got to get up early and get in the shower and stuff. So I'll see you girls another time. But yeah, great Beyonce show. Good night. Okay, here's another. I've been running around. I barely have time to talk, but I just want to tell y'all what I've been doing. I just, I'm not even about to pull this out. Well, I'll show you one. I made these small bouquets. My homeboy's about to propose to his girlfriend. And so, I made those for us to like hand to her. She's like walking down this little runway that we're making. Um, I packed like a whole bag of things to decorate the area. There's like four big bouquets of long stem roses. There's ribbon in here. My shoes that I'm wearing are in here. Camera, like my disposable camera. I think that's all I need. Yeah, it's a heavy friend weekend. Like. Um, yesterday, went to the Beyonce concert with my friends. Today, proposal. Tomorrow, supporting a friend who's doing an event. And yeah, I feel good. Like, I love stuff like this. So, yeah. Anyway, I was just showing y'all my look. It's very um, Whitley Gilbert when she came back after the summer and thought that Dwayne was going to be waiting for her. Oh, that's not right. I got to go. I love y'all. I'll see y'all. Bye. Um, hey girls, I am going to a Midland party. They rented out a hotel rooftop and yeah, so I just wrapped my scarf around my purse band. Just, you know, my little bit of Mifflin. Also, I am wearing some Mifflin slides. These are one of one, they don't sell this color very much. Yeah. Cute little headband I found at the Beauty Supply. My Warby Park glasses, Forever 21 earrings. I, oh, I need to put on the rest of my earrings. A few little bits of jewelry, and that's it. Oh, my top is Jacquemus. Y'all know this top. I wore this top when I was in Austin for um, what's that thing called? You know that thing, girl. I don't. I don't even. I can't even remember anything right now. Um, and then this skirt is a cute little skirt that I got from Dolls Kill years ago. I think it's from Dolls Kill, but years ago I got this and a matching one in the color lavender. So yeah. I'm about to spray on my perfume and meet my friends because they are here. Dink. See ya! Currently so bored that I have re-downloaded Hinge and I'm just making fun of people. You know what I mean? Um, oh. Yeah. I'm convinced that everybody got a, you know, like a, a desire in life, like a passion. 
you know, like everybody should have a song that makes them tick, make them, you know, want to be better, want to be great. You know, that's all I like to see people do is be great. Okay, well, it sounds like you're boo booing, so no. And let me clarify, I'm not making fun of people, but I am on here just getting my cringe meter going because everybody's ugly, you know what I mean? And I don't mean that in the physical sense, I just mean like ugly and like the, the full shebang of it all. Everyone's ugly. Um, so there are some people who like, Ew, how did you make it onto here? I said blacks only. Ooh, I don't like how people talk. <laughs> Oh my God, but you know what? It's like, and I hate to say it because it's like, well, I put myself on here, I'm not corny, because I was gonna say, guys that are on here are just immediately corny, but they, they, they're they not, like, they're not. A lot of these guys I think are literally in the same predicament as me, where it's like, they are just trying to use all of their resources. You, you feel what I'm saying? Let's look these guys up. I love when they add their Instagram name. So I can really see what's going on. Psh, page is private. Tuh. Hmm. Let's think about this. Not too bad. Small following. Private page. Not following a ton. Hmm. Hate this first picture though. I hate a nigga that throw on a three piece suit and think he doing something. And you can tell that they think they doing something because of just the pose and the face. It's just like, if it just is like a situation where like they wore it for the occasion, they'll be doing something like drinking out of something or you know, smiling with a group of people. But if they really think they put that shit on, they gonna be doing something stupid. And I, I just can't. But the rest of his stuff is cool. The rest of his stuff is cool. I don't know. What I do notice is he ain't showing these teeth and none of these pics. So I'm an ex. You're xed out. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to allow some conversations because the way Hinge works is if someone likes your profile, you can allow a conversation to start. You don't have to say anything to them. You can just allow a conversation and let them hit you up. And so that's what I intend on doing. I ain't seen nothing that is worth me being like, yeah, I'm gonna start a conversation. No, I think I'm gonna let this guy talk to me, I think. He from Alabama. I don't really do country niggas. Which I don't care how that sound to nobody else, but I mean, it's like some of these pics he's cute and some of these he ain't. Like I don't see this guy being my man. But you know, sometimes it's just like, just do it. Fuck it, match with him. Okay, who's this? You look all of five six. Bitch, why is he actually five six? Uh -uh. Sorry, I don't even wanna know what you about. Are those gauges in your ear? Oh yeah, I don't do gauges in the air. Mm -mm. Cause first it's the gauge, next thing you know it's something else. Mm -mm. It's getting a little too edgy. Getting a little too edgy. Who is this and why does he look familiar? See, you can't teach niggas nothing cause they start throwing it around. You don't know shit about emotional maturity. Oh, oh, so on here you can put, <laughs> on here you can put, what kind of relationship you're looking for. So this man gonna put short term relationship open to long and then you could put like extra details. So you gonna put, I'm interested in a genuine friendship slash FWB. What is FWB? Fuck with a bitch. Anyway, slash FWB that is focused on physical touch, foreplay, and sexual chemistry. I'm not interested in having sex slash penetration. Well, what the hell? And it's like, me too, but I don't believe you, boy. I just do not believe you. Ooh, that's how look nasty. Mm -hmm, like, that's how look nasty. Can't trust no sa nasty salad making nigga. I can't even get it out. I don't trust nobody who eat a nasty salad. I'm not, the thing about it is, I'm not gonna like nobody's nothing. They gotta like my stuff. Like, that's the thing. I, like, I, mm -mm. so even if I see something, most I'm gonna do is like screenshot you so that I can remember. But I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't about to be a thing. So I'll screenshot you. That's it. You know, the top of your head is too pointy. The best way to ask me out is by not asking me out. Presenting what it is that you like and if we vibe, I'll tell you where to be and when to be. Oh, excuse us. Uh-uh, black earring, black earring. Nope, ladies, if you listen to nothing else, listen to me when I say this. If that man has a black stud in his ear, go in the opposite direction. You, you don't even wanna bother with that. I'm telling you that. This is, this is pure science. We, don't, we ain't doing no black stud earrings. That man got a story to tell and it's a long one. Why would the sound be off of this? You just want us to see you. Ugh. I don't like men that think that they cute. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I, I want a confident man who like knows that he's attractive and he's not like oblivious. But 
there is something about the vibe of obliviousness. Like there's something about a guy who acts like he doesn't know that he's as attractive as he is. That's fucking hot. Like give me a man who act like he don't know why girls be chasing him. You know what I'm saying? Like give me that. Okay, the guy who I allowed to have a conversation with me has already written me. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and let him talk. He just said, hey, I'm blank. Oh, all my Linda hoes still on here. Also, please know you gotta take at least one or two inches off of these heights. If they say 5'11", I guarantee you he gonna be 5'10", 5'9". If he say six feet, baby, he's 5'11". He's 5'10", 5'11 on a good day. Six feet if he's wearing some shoes that got a little extra with an Air Force One, you know what I'm saying? And that's just that. Like 6'2", he might be 6'2", probably 6'1", but he might be 6'2". Um, but niggas who are over six feet, they don't really have a reason to lie for real. It's just like, they're their height. And that's just if you care about height. I'm starting to lean more towards not caring about height. I still prefer a man that's over 5'8". Like, oh. Damn, just that quick. We got four men on the line right now. Let's see what we got. That's cute, okay. Oh, sorry. Mm -mm. See, you funny, but you posted a video with the full frontal and it ain't there. Gonna have to ask you. Thank you, brother. We might be able to be friends, but this ain't a, this ain't an app where you meet friends. This is for something else. Goodbye. How the hell did you get on here, Jimmy? I'm looking for black men. Ooh, mm -mm. I hate a man whose beard is too sharp. Like. I, I hate all that. I hate when it looks like I could just peel it off. I know that I'm sounding critical, but I'm literally looking at men and judging them based off of their physical appearance. That's it. Like, that's what this phone shit is. Like, that's all we got. I don't know these niggas. So, I'm looking at him. If I don't like what I see, I next it. I'm also not dating no man who, I look, who looks like he shops at Urban Outfitters, like, only. Like, I'm not doing that. I hate when a man uses like new age slang. Like this guy just said he's giving everybody a bombastic side eye and it's just like, why'd you have to say bombastic? <sighs> I'm not gonna respond to that. You're gonna have to say something else. That's not getting a response out of me. Oh, well he's very handsome. Oh, ooh. Uh, he is handsome, but there's something going on here. Five nine. Mm, okay, so we talking about a good five eight, five seven. He ain't five seven, but he at least five eight. He on a shorter scale, I can tell by this pic. Mm -mm, mm -mm. His head look like it's about to blow. Big old head. <laughs> hey, what I say? It is what it is. It is what it is. Mm -mm. No, no, I have a pic from this angle. Oh, he got a body on him. What's that hairline look like? Oh, it's sharp. We well, it don't matter, I ain't liking your stuff. And this nigga is not from Atlanta, and he just here visiting the sun. I can tell. No, no, they ain't no basketball coaches. Oof, uh-uh. <laughs> oh boy. This man looking for a short-term relationship, AKA he just wants you to spread him and lay back. Goodbye. No. Ew, ew, no, you look like you about to steal out my purse. No, 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 you get your eyebrows on, go. I'm not I'm not interested in nobody who be at the gym like posed up in the in the in the gym locker room like taking pics. Like what are you doing? I don't like that. Mm-mm, that's not me. Mm-mm mm mm. Just go. I ain't doing nobody with that type of chain on. No, no, no. Let's see. Yeah, ooh, mm, no. A face only a mother could love. Woof! Uh-uh. 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 You built like me. Jake. How the hell are you on here? I said blacks only. No, 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 no. No, no. You all right, but you, you think you more than all right, so no. No, no, no. No, you look like you in a rough patch. No, 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 hate that mouth. <laughs> I just hate that mouth. This nigga talking about be brutally honest. These the ones, you be brutally honest, next thing you know, he trying to pull your wig off. No, no, I'll save my commentary. Pronouns are I'm him. <laughs> See, and this guy is 6'8", so he already dealing with a, an illness. Because me and my friend have this theory that men that are over 6'6", it's no longer you're tall, you have an illness, okay? 
Um, unless you have 24 hour care when you get older, you're not gonna have a long life. I've never seen a super tall old man. Have you? Name him, quickly, quickly. Never seen it. I'm not about to be heartbroken by the age of 68 because my husband passed away because he got long ass knees. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's just that's just not my type of lifestyle. I feel the same way about men with blue eyes. I ain't dealing with it. You ain't about to be blind by you by the time you turn 45. No, no. I, I don't I don't want to deal with it. Ew. No. Uh 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 uh. Ooh 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 uh 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 uh. No 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 no. Your name is Kofi, but you don't look like the Kofi I know. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a hard one. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna say that. Yeah, I'm definitely carrying. No, 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 no. I hate a man whose whose pants is tight from the top to the bottom. Why is your pants tight from the top from the from the, from the, from the, from the uh, top to the damn bottom? It's cuffing your booty and it's cuffing your ankles. That just pissed me off. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to see it. No, no, no. I can tell you don't like being in the house. You shouldn't go out with me if you cannot rock your natural beauty. Shut the fuck up. Ew! Sorry, if you saw what I just saw, hell no. Yeah. So this brother and I have been friends since we were 18 years old. And he's honestly one of the best human beings that I've ever met in my life. He's someone I can rely on. He sticks closer than a brother to me. And honestly, if you find him, you found one of the rare ones. So. Any sister would be happy to, to have him. Oh, that's his friend speaking on his behalf? I don't believe it. I bet that's your stupid ass. Talking about my friends. Just, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can tell you just got here. Ew, ew. Okay. Let's make sure we're on the same page about where we met. I don't think we should be telling people we met off hinge. It's kind of corny. So, we can say like we met off um, we made it like Target or like uh, the mall or somewhere. I don't know, but your hands, yeah, nah, we ain't, nah, we're not gonna do that. I'm not talking to nobody who's telling he got a frog in his throat. Next. Let's make sure it's Boy, go like this. <clears throat> like, you got something going on. Ew, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Seven feet tall? You're insane. We will look like circus freaks. I hate meeting a man when he's in his long hair era. Like, please talk to me once you cut that shit off. I ain't trying to deal with all that. No. Ew, ew. Hate a man taking selfies when the sun, like, when the sun's hitting him. Like, you, you, you a little too on it for me. Hell nah. Uh-uh. We ain't about to be bumping heads in the car because we both caught ourselves trying to take a selfie when the sun. Uh-uh. No. That's me. You do what you do. I'm gonna do what I do. Oh, this picture was not the one. Oh, oh. Why you ruined it at the end? He ruined it because he got on croc printed swim trunks. Like, no. Where, who, where are these from? Steve Madden? And then the next one is him bending over, fake like adjusting his. I don't know, sneaker? And he's got on these two tight old navy pinstripe pants. No, you just pissed me off. No Alejandro. Uh, oh, no, hell no. Th th thought somebody was cute. Next thing I know, I seen them backwards skating, twisting and turning. I don't wanna see all that. I don't wanna see all that. No, 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 no. There's no vibes. <laughs> I hate everybody. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go live and talk about people. You know, fuck up. I think I wanna go live on TikTok, not Instagram. Instagram, I have too many actual potential niggas on Instagram. And I have been a little less interested. Let me, I just feel like it's kind of a turn off for a man to see me speaking about relationships and um, my annoyance and like talking poorly about men like I think that me doing that is just not a welcoming trait for a man it does not mean I'm gonna stop doing it I just understand that it's not the most welcoming thing to be doing while I am looking for a man I get it I'm, I never thought that it was okay I'm gonna go live on here Why? this should be fun a little something to do. I have done nothing all day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I I'm going 
through something. And the thing is, is that I've gone through it. I think now it's just like mustering up the courage to actually pursue the thing that I said I wanna pursue. Yesterday, I was at a party and this guy asked me, what do I do? When I tell y'all I was stuttering and stumbling, I didn't know what the fuck to say. Because you know, the real answer is, I do nothing. I've been doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. I haven't even been doing this. Like, I've been doing nothing. That's the honest answer. I generally hate being asked what I do anyway. Like, I try to be cognizant of like not asking people that because the question is just so, it can be very layered. Like, it's just too much of a question to ask in like a party, quick combo moment. So I don't like to ask people that question. But I think I'm gonna start being honest about the fact that right now I'm doing nothing, you know? And I think in my being honest maybe it will encourage and inspire and light a fire under me and get me to do something because right now doing nothing it's really it's wearing on me i'm 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 weird today i literally spent the day doing nothing i was watching tv i caught up on both uh, Real Housewives, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of New York. I watched Martin and I watched The Shy. And then I posted on Instagram. I talked to my homeboy to catch up on this weekend who ended up getting engaged. It was a beautiful engagement. That's it. Oh, and scrolling all day. All day, that's what I did. I did not leave this couch. And, you know, there's something that I want to do and I just am so concerned with being told no that i've avoided pursuing it and i gotta get over it because even if i'm told no it doesn't mean that i'm not capable of doing the thing you know what i mean there could be a multitude of reasons why someone could say no to me it doesn't mean it doesn't take away my ability so one no doesn't mean a thousand no's it's one no I gotta, I gotta remind myself that like, I'm trying to talk myself through the fear right now. Okay, let me fill myself up some water. Yo, so there was this TikTok I saw today and it was something called, it was a shadow work journal, which I'm not familiar with. I've heard that term, but I don't really know what it means, right? But in this particular journal, the girl, it was like some inner child stuff, some childhood shit, and it was like, this happened to, oh, I, I forgot what it said, but the shit made me think about something that happened to me when I was younger that is affecting me now, that I'm seeing right now, and like my avoidance right now. And it's the humiliation thing, like, yo, I know my mom probably can't stand the fact that whenever I am having these realizations and talk, you know, talking things out, that a lot of it goes back to her. I'm sure she feels like I'm blaming her for things and it's not a blame thing so much as it's just an, a more of an understanding about where some of my triggers come from, I guess is the word. Triggers or like where these things come from that affect me today. Like why I respond to things the way that I respond to them. And my avoidance when it comes to pursuing things or being concerned someone's gonna say no, it's because I will never forget the time I told my mom I wanted to go on American Idol and she laughed at me. And I know it sounds like a small thing, but me and my friend have been talking a lot about Beyonce and talking specifically about her parents and how Beyonce, a lot of her reason for, for becoming you know, who she was and being positioned. Because the thing is, is that Beyonce was who she was regardless of who her parents were. But I think a lot of the reason why she became a superstar was because her parents supported her and positioned her. A lot of us are special and talented, but we lack the support, we lack the positioning. We lack people um, completely giving up their lives to support ours. That's what her parents did for her. A lot of us don't have that. Anyway, let me get to talking about these niggas because I just feel like it. But it's real though, it really is. Oh, let's turn on some kind of. Um, um, I'll talk to you girls later. Bye. Chilo. So, before anyone asks, the mask that I'm wearing, I picked this up from TJ Maxx. It's from the brand Honest. Is this um, Jessica Alba's brand, Honest? Um, it's a three-in-one detox mud mask. 
I have a breakout going on. I haven't broken out in a minute, so I feel like this is a reaction to something, um, whether it be food or something. Okay, so boom, girl, I'm out of my own business. I'm doing my walk, and I'm walking back, and as I'm walking back, I'm crossing the street, and I see this dude in the car, and I see him looking, and he's like, really, like, he's supposed to be going this way, but he's looking at me, like, he's doing all this. And I said to myself, I was like, Energy will really look like him parking right now and running to come get me. Bitch, why the fuck did he do that? <laughs> now, he was ugly, but I like the energy. And that's my thing. It's like, at this stage in the game, I think all the single girls know and feel me when I say this, and I'm saying it very loudly, but every man is ugly right now. There's not a man that I've seen that ain't got a twinge of ugly in them. And it's a shame. It totally is. Trust me. Um, but it's just... Now, as far as the walking part goes, bitch, I'm back walking because my niece was feeling funny. You know, I've been running for the last few weeks, but my niece was feeling funny for a couple of days. And I said, oh no, this is where I hang up a jail. Like, I ain't got nothing to prove. Bitch, we're done. Like, did it, it's cool. I love the feeling, like I, I love the beat, but I'm not about to be putting my body through no nonsense, number one. Number two, I looked it up and running isn't bad for your knees. Actually, running is good for your knees and can help you to avoid arthritis in your knees. However, you have to be running properly. You have to have the right shoes. You have to be stretching properly. You know, you have to be hydrated. It's all of these elements. That's the only way to make sure you don't have a knee issue. And one thing on that list is gonna be missing for me. I just know that. Whether it be the sneakers or running properly or being hydrated, you feel me? I'll stretch, but everything else is a toss up. I got the sneakers, I got the right sneakers, but the running properly and the damn being hydrated, bitch, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not there yet, right? So yeah, I put the running on pizzles and I'm back to just walking fast. That's, that's good enough for me. I'm out there, I'm walking, um, my heart is beating, I'm getting a little sweat. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. What I'm hoping this little mask does is just kind of help to dry out the breakouts that I have and then I am gonna put the little star patches on top of them. I'm going to Turks and Caicos next week and I would like for all of this to be over with because I do not plan on wearing makeup every day in Turks and I would like my skin to be looking fresh and clear and blemish free. But because it's next week that I'm leaving, it won't be blemish free. I will have a few blemishes because that's just how my skin works. It don't heal that fast. I would love for it to though. So yeah, that's my nightly update. Goodbye. Chill Okay, we are doing big hair today. It's Saturday. Today I'm going to the beauty supply store to possibly find some hair that I wanna wear for my friend's wedding. I wanna do like a high ponytail. It was between a low ponytail and a high ponytail. And because a lot of the girls are doing low ponytails, I'm like, maybe let me switch it up to a little high ponytail because we don't all have to have the same hairstyle. So thinking about doing a high ponytail and like a waterfall type ponytail, but getting like a lot of big hair. Imagine like coming to America, the wedding day hair look that that actress had. So thinking about doing something like that. So I wanna try and see if I can find some good hair at the beauty supply store. And if not, then I'm gonna order some hair off of one of these YouTube girls and a little code, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of people use, cause I want it to be textured hair. I just want it to not be synthetic. So that's the thing. I'm gonna take a little walk outside before my friend picks me up. So I'll see y'all later. So I'm taking elderberry for the first time. I got this brand. My friend has the flu, like fully has the flu. And we were just at her house and I'm going to Turks in literally five days. I ain't got time. So I'm taking this and I feel something funny in my nose. Now it could be in my head, but that's where I want it to stay. So I'm gonna take, it says to take this every four hours, two tablespoons of it. So that's what we are gonna do. Ooh, that's a lot. God damn. Shake well. It's shook. Let's do it. Oh, it smells like nothing. Well, it smells like berry. Okay. Oh, that's great. Oh, teaspoons, not tablespoons. Okay, so that was two teaspoons. That was good. It says to take it four times a day, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take it two right now because half the day's over. Yum, it's like a little snack. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm also going to take, that's really, really good. Mmm, tastes like juice. Yum. Okay, 
So we got that. I also got some, what is it called, echinacea? Some echinacea, which is supposed to be great for your immune system. And some zinc. I also got this Dayquil, which I will be taking later on. I was thinking about getting Nyquil, but I was like, like getting the night version of this. But I was just like, it's okay, girl. Like, I'm not sick, but I do feel something right up here in the nasal, and my eyes are a little glossy. Like, there's some fluid in my body. And so I need to, you know what I'm saying? Take care of that. So I'm gonna take one of these things of zinc. I'm gonna take one tablet. Go ahead and get that out of the way. I was with my homegirl today, and then, People was acting like they ain't never seen a bad bitch before. Like, it was ridiculous. What I really think it is is that they can't take both of us together like that. Like, it's too much. She's a lot to look at, then I'm a lot to look at. It's like they don't know where to focus their eyes. Like, this camera don't know how to focus on me. Like, it's just too much going on. I'm just like, okay, I get it. I'm used to being stared at, and I'm really not over here trying to hog my own horn. I'm just saying, like, in general, this is my experience. People are going to stare. People are going to offer compliments. Men are going to drool. It happens. But today, it was like I was in a different world. They were acting strange. I felt like I was in a simulation. It was crazy. I went to a restaurant, and at the end, the server hugged us. He bent down and said, all right, thank y'all for coming. Hope y'all come again. Like, what? Since when do we do that? Since when? And that was after a slew of like weird ass shit was going on the whole time we were there. And it was like, it was nice, but it just became borderline like too much. Like it became un uncomfortable. We were eating and at one point it became a town hall meeting right in front of our table of them just talking to us. And it's like, where I'm, cu I'm cutting up my sandwich. Like I'm trying to eat, but I'm not taking a bite because I'm trying to engage in the conversation that they're giving me at the moment. And it's just like, this is a lot guys. Like this is a lot y'all. Like I'm gonna call this boy. Let's see if he answer. We just gonna see. We just fooling around. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he ain't look at his phone for a couple hours. So he might not answer. Let's see. All right, he's about to get cut off. You're done. You're done. You're done. That's it. Okay, I did pick up some things. I needed to re up on my dressing that I love. So we've got that. I also got this because I'm eating a salad tonight. That's all I want is a salad, and I will be devouring these cookies that I have. And then I just have a few things for my trip. A little, I couldn't remember if I had a travel toothpaste, so I got this. I should've got Sensodyne. I have this Poopery, the Cocoa Glow. I took this on my London trip, and I just wanted a new one because the one I had got messy. And then we got some CeraVe moisturizing cream, which instead of this, I should've got a suntan lotion, a suntan lotion, but whatever. And then I got this Olay body wash because sometimes, like, I don't like when the only thing to wash your body with in a hotel is body wash. I don't like liquid soap in other people's places. If it's a bar of soap, cool. But liquid soap, I don't know. Something about it makes me feel like not clean. So I just got my own. Sometimes I'll bring my own loofah, but most times I don't. Okay, that's it. Honestly, y'all, I'm just so, I'm not in a talkative mood. I feel like all talked out, specifically today, like I'm all peopled out. The way we had to like dip and dodge people and like do pleasantries with people because they were acting like it was fucking, I don't know, they were treating us like Michael Jackson and Prince. It was really weird. I think I want one of these cookies now. Yeah, people were just acting strange and annoying. This is the mint chocolate chip. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mmm. 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 That was good. No, mm -hmm. oh, I good. But I've been having this conversation with my friends for months, but I just feel like I have felt less and less interested in sharing online. It almost feels like I'm giving a piece of myself away. It's been feeling really draining for me lately. I feel like it's just a phase, but it's where I'm at right now. So I haven't really been feeling called to like talk to the camera because I just feel like I'm talking to a camera. I'm not connected right now. That's the truth, bro.
I'm looking a mess. This is my sleep here. I just took my scarf off and came downstairs. My favorite part of every trip is coming down and watching the waves and just listening to them and it's, it's just beautiful. I was telling my friends that the earth is absolutely overwhelming. It's gonna get very stars and moon, but how the ocean acts is determined by the moon and the sun and the elements and it's very similar to how a woman's body acts you know with periods we have this cycle that we can't control and uh, just think, i think that's very interesting today on the island they're cleaning up all of the seaweed there was so much seaweed washed up and today um it's gone so today they're out here with like bags and stuff cleaning it up i don't know if you can see but they have bags and stuff and they're cleaning it up so I didn't realize that they have to do this shit by hand. This is hard work. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here and keep enjoying this on some solo quiet shit and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey. Peace and love girls. Support black women, okay? Don't look at me like that. Don't, don't, I don't need to hear it. I don't want to know about it. Just hello. Okay, let's just start there. Let's go. Let's give we. <laughs> okay, I've been doing some grocery shopping today. I went to Trader Joe's looking for these motherfuckers and they was gone, sold out. When I tell you, run to your local traders and get you some of these. One more game for the people who didn't see it in the back. Yeah, you need that. They are so fucking good. Yeah, I tore these up yesterday. I had them with some black beans that I made. Too, 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 too good. Okay, so. Corn chips. We back on bread. Got some organic seeded bread. I wanna make a lot of toast with cream cheese on top. Olives, I loved these olives when I got them last time and I tore them up. They are more on the, I don't know how to describe it. Hello, can you look at her for one second, please? Ah, damn. But yeah, these are really good. These are definitely like for snacking purposes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor. It's definitely like, it's one of those you either like it or you don't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yellow pepper, red pepper, lemon, lime. Oh, I forgot, I already got some pepper. Shoot. Look out this nigga car, this Uber. And I tell you that motherfucker smelled like a fucking foot. And I'm like, what the hell going on? I said, what the hell is going on here? I rolled that window down immediately. That's one thing about it. I ain't cutting no corners. Roll this window down immediately. I can't breathe, roll it down. I got it, I need to ask no question, I just said, bro. Rolled it down, kale, um, sandwich making team. But uh, what was I getting at? We got cucumbers, we got some black beans. Um, I wanted to try, I've had these before, but I've never purchased them. Some rambutan, yum. And we've got some avocados in here. So girls, I guess the question is, what the fuck has been going on, right? Well, like I, I mentioned this before about being like in this transitional phase, in this pivot stage in my life where I am figuring out what I wanna do with my life and how I wanna show up specifically on the internet, what I'd like to do creatively, like what that looks like. And I just needed time, you know, to not be making something, to not be talking about things. I just needed some time. I went on vacation with some of my girlfriends and I needed that too. I really just been allowing myself to take my time. I don't have to have the answers. I don't have to prove nothing. Only to myself do I have to do those things. You know, I'm holding myself accountable. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm going to do it. And if I find myself not doing something I said I'm going to do, 
I keep real with myself. Like, bitch, you said you was gonna do that and you didn't. And I'm checking in and I'm, you know, trying to see where it all is coming from. And it's really just from a place of unbalance when it comes to work stuff. Like, I'm just not sure how I'd like to do this. Sometimes I'm not sure why I'm doing this. And when I say this, like what I'm talking about, it's just like, do I wanna be making vlogs for the rest of my life? No, you know, there are other things that I wanna do. So I'm trying to um, prepare for these new goals and dreams that I'm creating for myself and it requires thinking and true preparation like you know mentally you know working on my confidence and my courage because it requires me putting myself out there and asking people for things which is not my favorite thing to do but you know I have to ask people to you know give me opportunities I have to show people I'm capable of doing certain things I do not like having to prove myself to niggas so it's taking a lot out of me and really having me check my ego and my pride and my comfort and uh it's a growing process girl it's a growing process so that's what i've been doing you feel me i do have to run to whole foods um i got some re-ups on my toothpaste you know we do arm and hammer up in here and then i got the cerave moisturizer I've never purchased this before, but I was using this on my trip when I was in Turks and Caicos. And my friend was talking about how much she loved it. And I had already had been thinking that in my head, like, oh, I really love this. And so I was like, you know what? I saw it in the store. I said, let me go ahead and get it. So pop, we've got a new body moisturizer. And then I just got some floss. So I'm going to the store and go and get the other little things that I need. I want to get my green juice from Whole Foods and I also need to get some mayo and I need to get some cream cheese. So I'll see y'all when I get back. The sun's going down and the sky looks gorgeous. Looks gorgeous. Oh, let me tell you what I did today. Oh, well, first of all, girl, we all over the place. I'm just getting back in it. I can never just take this out smoothly. Yeah, girl. We pin curled the hair last night. I straightened my hair yesterday and so this is what we've got. My pin curls always fall, like it was tighter earlier, but now it's just giving like sexy, you know what I mean? Like she's that girl, that's a bad bitch right there type vibe. My bodysuit is from Amazon, cause I know the girls are gonna ask. It does have a keyhole back, cute. And I got this off Amazon, whatever your size is, go up maybe two sizes like i normally wear a medium i bought a medium this shit is so fucking tight like i need a large so yeah if you're not trying to get so sucked in then get a size up if you're looking for some then get your normal size my mouth is watering because i'm hungry i got these chips because i have this pineapple salsa that i got from trader joe's that i want to eat for snack oh i also I did what I had to do. You do what you gotta do, baby. I'll see y'all when I get back. Bye. Baby, why don't you just take the... Okay. Let's eat some fresh ramble time. Fresh ramble time. Cool. Cool. Ah! What the hell? Okay, so there is a seed in the middle, I think. Yeah, there's a seed in the middle. So you have to cut around it, okay? Like you would an avocado twist. Shoot, it didn't break how I wanted it to break. Like where it's a dome. Mm, mm. I wonder what vitamin this is high in. Love the taste, it tastes like, kinda tastes like a grape with a little bit of like a, like not as sweet as a grape. This is what happened, this is why I'm like chewing around it cause some of the seed is like stuck to it. Some of the seed skin. But fuck it. Probably high in fiber. Okay. No! Where's that go? Okay, I'm sorry, but this is getting rinsed off. I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm eating this. I've eaten worse. I know I have. Alright, let's try to get the whole dome out this time. These are good. They just they require work. But this is what it looks like when you take it out. Looks like this. And there's a seed on the inside. They must be in season because Trader Joe's doesn't always sell these. 
And I forget how much they wear. Does this make this bad? It's got black on the bottom. Let's cut it and see. Yeah, ew. It's good. Uh, I wonder where these live. So they come from Guatemala, according to the packaging. This is a Guatemalan fruit. Oh, this morning I caught myself about to call this boy. And I was like, Kennedy, do you want to talk to him or are you just bored? Definitely just bored. I was just like, if he says one thing that gets on my nerves, I'm going to be so irritated. So because I was prepping to be annoyed, I was just like, you don't really want to talk to this person. So I got up and made myself get some meat. And I got up early. Well, early-ish. I went to sleep kind of late because I didn't come home until kind of late. So, but I woke up at eight because somebody called me. Sometimes, most times, I don't have an appetite that early in the day. Sometimes I can be hungry, especially if I'm going to be like active and doing something. But yeah, so if I'm just up and laying around, I'm not gonna have an appetite. That was delicious. Thank you, Rambo. I'll see y'all later. They look like little sea urchins. Um, because my hair is straight, I be trying to find like things to do. Cause it's like, this just doesn't happen often. So it's just like, when my hair looks different, I want to be outside and doing stuff. I'm like asking people what they do on the day and stuff and everybody's working. They working, they out of town. Yes, I'm rinsing off the paper plates because mind your business. I'm about to use it. It ain't got nothing but a little bit of um, rainbow skin on it. You do what you do in your house. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good as new. And it's the good kind of paper plate where you can wet it. Good as new. Every kiss begins with gay. So an ex from way, way back in the day called me last night asking if we could go to lunch this weekend. And I was just like, what the? I had to repeat it like, lunch this weekend. Lunch this weekend. Like, you want to go to lunch with me this weekend? It just felt... It just felt so weird because I have not seen this particular person in 12 years. So it's like, uh, what? But that's what a cute picture gonna do, girl. You post on my Instagram that, that got the streets talking. Next thing you know, they're trying to talk to you. And I'm very clear about that. It's like, I don't think this came out of nowhere. I know you want to talk to me because you saw me post on Instagram and you like what you saw. I know that's that. Right. You are not fooling me. Trying to make it seem like, no, I've been thinking about it, but you ain't been thinking about a motherfucking thing. Ain't no reason why you would be thinking about somebody who you dated 12 damn years ago. You saw me on Instagram. Just shut up before you get smacked up. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm going. <laughs> And I'm going because this person used to be my friend, you know, and as far as boys goes, first of all, he's my first boyfriend. Second of all, he's the first boy I ever truly liked and like loved, you know, kid love. But like, yeah, he was my first experience for a lot of things. So it's just like, you know what? Fine, I'll go, fuck it. Let me just see what you look like. You know, I know what he looks like. Let's be, let's be honest. I do know what he looks like, but I'm just like, let me just see. Or how about this? Let me just let you see. Sometimes girls, you know what I mean? Like, let them get a peek in person. <laughs> Babe, I was telling my homeboy, I was like, it's so interesting because when I talk to people from my past, some people from my past, it's very evident that my growth and my like, personal evolution has not been the same experience for other people in the sense that some people have not um, matured. They haven't like done the self-reflecting that would give them the type of enlightenment or you know the, the wisdom to communicate in a certain type of way or have the, a perspective that will offer them um, a broader sense of the world. And my friend was like, yeah, like, you moved from your city that you grew up in, you've traveled, and I was saying like, yo, moving to New York was really my biggest blessing because I made a decision on my own and I really moved to a city I knew nothing about. And I spent my entire 20s there, you know what I'm saying? All of my 20s. 
I went there, we talking numbers? We ain't gotta talk numbers, but at the end of the day, no, I spent, I lived there for seven years. I spent the last seven years of my 20s in New York. And that's major because those years, I feel like are very pivotal for like your personal growth and confidence and just like how you step into the next stage of your life. And so a lot of people during that time, they're not taking chances, they don't trust themselves, they are, um, they have attachment issues to other people, they have codependent relationships and it's very obvious when we get to this next stage, you're in your 30s now and you're having conversations with people and you realize they're still speaking in the same way they spoke 10 years ago. They still have the same mindset that they had 10 years ago. And it's like, oh, a lot of this is because your environment hasn't changed. And because your environment hasn't changed, the way that you communicate hasn't needed to change. And yeah, it's real, it's real. When you step outside of your um, environment, your comfort, you're forced to adapt, and you're not allowed to like straight up be the way you've been. It requires change. And it doesn't mean you're not yourself anymore, it means that you're evolving, you are growing. I'm still who I was 10 years ago, but I'm an evolved version of who I was 10 years ago. So I can always tell when someone's never moved. Always, 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 always. Because it's a very, they have a very limited mindset. They think in absolutes. And it's really a shame because it doesn't allow for relationships in their lives to um, grow. It doesn't obviously allow them to grow. And it creates a lot of fears that truly don't exist. It's just like, it's time for you to wake up, babe. Into you. What am I doing right now? All the flowers that I have in my house right now are so pretty. I have some yellow ones that look like that over here. Man, bitch, I went and looked at some other apartments yesterday because I'm considering moving. I pay a lot of money for this place and I'm just like, I'm paying too much money for this place low key. Like a lot of money is going towards my home and I do spend a lot of time here. I have friends over. I'm utilizing the space and the location. It's not wasteful but it's still a lot of money, period. There's no denying that. So I'm just like, if there's an opportunity for me to have um, another great living experience, but for cheaper, I'm going to do that. And it might look a little different. Like the space not be as big. I have a big ass place. I am willing to give up my space for cheaper rent. So I went and looked at some apartments and bitch, it was maybe like 100 to $200 less and the space was not even half the size of this place. I'm just like, I can't, this doesn't make sense for me to pay to move, move in here, only for me to get, what, $100 off of what I'm already paying? Doesn't make sense, doesn't make sense. Um, also, you know, when I look at new buildings, cause they're building so many new places in Atlanta, I'm always like, yes, I love the idea of moving into a freshly new building. No one else has sat on this toilet seat. I love that, like it brings me so much joy. I went and looked at this place and I like to go into the apartment that I would move into. So I wanna see the exact apartment, not a model, but I wanna see the exact apartment that I would be moving into. Take me to the floor, take me to the, I wanna be in the exact one so I can get a real, feeling for it. I need to look out the window. I need to see how the light come in here. I need to look at everything. So we went in there. Girl, I go in the bathroom. Why am I seeing boo-boo streaks? And pee on the toilet. Not the construction workers been in here blowing it up on break. Girl, I said, not this is the community bathroom. The way that the boo-boo streaks looked in that bathroom, I was just like, there's no way that only one person's using this bathroom. This has to be the apartment that they're using to take their shits in. And that completely, it just, it ruined so much for me. It ruined so much. Cause I'm just like, I, I can't even, I can't even imagine it. I just can't even. Anna, we're walking out, I'm seeing the construction workers, I'm looking them in the eye and I'm just like, I, I, I know you boo-booed in there. I know you, <laughs> you boo-booed in there. I can tell. You look like you was looking and trying to see if I saw the boo-boo streaks. I saw them. I saw them. So it's like that factor. You know what I mean? Of just like, ew, I've seen too much. I know too much. But yeah, girl, they trying to get us for all of our damn dollars. Like, bitch, I ain't worked this hard to give it all to y'all motherfuckers. Y'all ain't even giving me much for me to be giving you all my motherfucking money. That don't make no sense to me. Why y'all would want us to be working like this only to ask for the money back to put into, put into these little apartments. And it, you know, before the, I bought a house last year, you need to buy a house. Before that committee comes in here, 
Baby, I like having a maintenance man. I like amenities. I like that. I'm not at the house buying stage yet. I'm just not there. You do that. I don't want no, no house by myself right now. I'm not interested. I totally get it. Oh, I'm paying less than that on my mortgage. God bless. I am so happy for you. You do what you do, okay? Because we ain't about to sit up here and act like homes don't have their own issues. You do. You got the HOA. You got the fact that you got to call motherfuckers when some shit broke. You got to take care of that shit. Ain't none of that. You got the scary part of it all. You in this big old shit by yourself, okay? I'm not dealing with that right now. I'm not ready for that. I want to be up someplace with security. Like, that's what I like. So that's where I am. When I'm ready for a house, I'll get it. Don't get to talking to me about your homeowner's insurance. I don't want to know nothing about it. I don't give a damn right now. That's not where I'm at, so save it. Just damn save it. Um, yeah. So, I do need to figure out work stuff. Like, what the fuck am I doing? Because I do, I have to make money. Oh, the ladybug is back. I'm going to try to let her out. I'm open my window. Hold on. Yeah, I got to figure out where I'm like, so a piece of change coming from. You know, I have a habit of like letting money find me. But it's like, girl, you got shit to pay for. You know what I mean? Like, you might have to go out and find the money. So, we're at that stage of the game where it's time to get serious. <laughs> like, it's not a game anymore, you know? Playtime's over, girl. I saw this post on TikTok that said, if you are, and she specifically said this for black people, but I think it goes for all people. If you are drained what's the word she used not drained but if you are and not depleted let me just go to the damn tiktok God damn it. burnt out she said if you are burnt out rest isn't going to help a vacation isn't going to help what's going to help is restructuring your life and it's so true because i was going to tweet does anybody else when they come back from vacation feel worn out still i don't feel rested for real, after a vacation. Mind you, I don't really take a lot of vacations. I go on trips, but I wouldn't necessarily call them a vacation. A vacation to me is a very mindless trip that requires no thinking on my end and I am just taken care of. And I just haven't had that experience ever. I have had to take care of myself because I've traveled solo or you know, I'm traveling for someone's birthday or something like that. Like it's never just, I'm just like, you know, going with the flow i have to kind of like assist in some type of way or completely like take the lead because i'm by myself so i was just like man that's so true and that's where i am i'm i'm trying to reconstruct my life restructure not reconstruct but restructure my life and it's tough it's tough because it's that thing again of just like not knowing where to start not knowing what to do first feeling a bit overwhelmed, feeling um, nervousness, feeling some hesitancy, um, that unsurety. And the thing is, is that I'm not unsure about whether or not I should do this. I'm unsure about the next steps. Like, what should I get into first? And I know better because I know that you just have to do something. Like, you just do something. And so I have done something. I did dip my toe and I extended an olive branch into an area. And I guess I just need to follow up and see like, how do we get started? And so I just have to show a little bit of tenacity. Is that the word that I wanna use? A bit of tenacity? Let's see what tenacity means. Mm. The quality or fact of being very determined, determination, yeah. The quality or fact of continuing to exist. Yeah, persistence, exactly, yeah. A bit of tenacity, I just wanna, you know, I have to just continue to let it be known this is what I really wanna do. And so, yeah, I'm going through that thing of like, people know me for a few things, they don't know me for all my things, and I'm kind of like letting them know that I'm capable of doing more than what they know about me, and in doing so, it requires me to like, prove it and show them, which is an act that I really hate to have to do, because I feel like I'm like selling myself, and like I gotta prove something to folks, I'm just like, bitch, you either know it or you damn don't. You either believe me or you damn don't. And uh, I have to get over that, because it comes from a place of like, pride and ego but it is, it's humbling. It's very much humbling, but I'm gonna get it together just off the strength of wanting to get the fuck together. That's it, for no other reason, but I really truly want to get my shit together and, and do what the fuck I'm saying I'm trying to do. You know, I don't wanna keep talking about shit. I wanna just do that shit. So, let's start with making this toast. Today's lunch, we got some olives, 
the mango habanero chips, and this amazing turkey sandwich with some arugula and um, Havarti cheese. Yummy, yum, yum. I might put this on the pan. I can heat it up a little bit. Okay, and now we have a toasted sandwich. Cute. Mm -hmm. That's what I need it. Right. My dress is halfway zipped because it was so tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Quick outfit because I don't want to leave y'all hanging. Zara. Cute little Zara top. Thrifted purse. APC jeans. I have on my Dior sandals. I can't even kick my foot up. But because the pants are super ripped. And if they rip some more, I'll be giving them the tig and the bitties. You understand? So, um, yeah, girl. Just going out in the town. I'll see y'all when I get back. Bye. Okay, girls. Let's recap the night. Um, so, I went out. I'm so mad about that, but I went out to a party my homeboy and his friends was throwing. And I'm so glad that I did because I love like stepping out and it being that thing of like who's that who's that because people don't see me outside like that so it's a lot of like who's that who's that you know what i'm saying like who is that badass bitch um love it you know what i mean i love a pop out moment right so i just popped out real quick i was going to pin curl my hair today because i have plans tomorrow oh yeah i was supposed to meet with the first um love of my life whatever Girl, he called talking about something, he can't do it. And that's not his first time doing that. So I went ahead and blocked him. Cause I'm like, ew, you shouldn't have access to me anyways. Let's keep it all the way funky. I will be trying to be nice. But because that's his second time playing on my phone and going through all the stunts and shows and talking me into going on a, on a date with him to catch up only for him to let me know the day before that he can't do it. It's just like, ew, grow up. Whatever you got going on, do that over there. Anyway, girl, so that's canceled. Hold on, let me pee real quick so I can get comfy. You know, I can't, if I have to pee, I have to pee. Like, I can't, I'm uncomfortable if I'm holding pee. Hold on. Yeah, I was gonna do pink curls tomorrow so I can have a fresh curly head of hair, but now I'm not doing nothing. And also it's late, so I'm just like, let me just wrap it. Cause I like how it looked today, you know, it looked good. I just feel like my hair gets oily faster when I'm wrapping it as opposed to pin curling it. But we won't wish that evil on us. We just want a good turnout for tomorrow. So I ended up having to take off those Dior sandals. Before I even walked out the door, I had two blisters on both of my big toes. And I don't play that. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, hold up. I mean like fully formed blisters and I had only had the shoes on for maybe 15 minutes. I'm just like, ooh, I cannot imagine leaving this house and being stuck in those shoes. I, I can't imagine. It's because of the material of the sandal part that's on my foot. It's that plastic material and that plus heat plus tightness is not a good mix. It's not a good mix. All right, let's get the makeup off. So, I went to the party. I was there, I guess, kind of early because I wanted to get there when my friend got there. And since it was him and his friends that had something to do with throwing it, they were there pretty early. So like, I was there around, like right before 11. And I left at like 1.45. Um, and I was just like, damn, like, I really used to do this life, you know? Like there was a moment where the section started, you know, and they were really big, big sections. So he had a really big section, but it started getting packed and girls wanted to like sit down on the couch. And I remember those days and like, I was speaking of it like that cause I really don't be going out, especially in like club like environments, right? And this wasn't even a club, it's like a baby club cause it was at a hotel. It's just like at a hotel bar, but they have sections, they have the club aesthetic. Um, so club shit was going on. But let me give y'all some of my pet peeves. Number one, we're all girls. We all know that as girls, we wanna have the option to sit down. So if you see a girl standing in front of a seat, most likely that's her fucking seat. So don't do the like, excuse me, excuse me, only for you to like scoot past and then not move because you're trying to wiggle your way into the seat. Like don't do that girl, it's ugly. I don't like the club culture in the sense of like, there are people who will do so much to get into the section 
and be sitting there like clams and tight and uncomfortable and trying to find a seat when you could just be out in the party where there's space and you and your friends can actually be together and like I guess that type of thinking comes with age because there was a time where I too was, I would rather squish in a section than be out in gin pop. But now it's just so stupid. I'd be like, girl, this ain't even the look. You know what I mean? So after a while, I just left the section because I'm just like, mm-mm. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I, I stood my ground, girl. I was like, mm-mm, because I'm sitting here. She was like, oh, I was just going to sit up on top of the couch. I said, but then I'm not going to be able to sit back on the couch. I don't want your toes being at my ass. You know, I don't want to feel your shoe on the back of my butt. I was like, no. So I know I'm all kind of bitches, bitches and hoes to her friends, but I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm not, I've been here since 11. I'm not, you know? It was one of them types. So it was all love, like, no funny energy, no nothing. It was, it was cool. Um, okay, another pet peeve, drunk ass niggas. <laughs> But I can't stand no drunk ass nigga, especially if you got the nerve to be a big ass drunk ass nigga. There was one dude, and this is a big man, and he was jumping on the table. He was trying to use my arm to jump up. I said, nothing about me gives you can use me as a way to get up. Pardon? I just hate the sloppiness of it all because you can't tell what's gonna happen next. And I'm like, I don't want you to get my hair wet. You know what I mean? He was picking up the things, the juice that you were supposed to be using for chaser. You know how they'll put them in a bottle. Like there's a bottle of orange juice, there's a bottle of cranberry juice, there's a bottle of Sprite, like it's in a glass thing. He was picking it up and drinking straight out of it. Hello? Have you no class? <laughs> Um, I get drunk nigga shit, but it's like, I'm older than y'all, but I'm not that much older than y'all. Y'all still, you know what I'm saying? Y'all up there in y'all 20s. Ain't no reason why you doing all this. But this is why I pray that the man that I end up being with is not a drinker. Because I just find that a lot of people who drink, it's not everybody, but a lot of people who drink use it as a form of escapism. And they don't have limits. They just keep going and going. And, uh... Again, not everybody, but there are some people who are like that, and it's a fine line. And it's also like, how often do you drink? Like, there was a guy I was dating who told me adamantly, like, I don't like drinking, but my friends will pressure me to drink. And I'm just like, that's ugly that you, as a grown-ass man, don't know how to tell your friends you don't want to drink. Being, like, easily pressured and influenced to do some shit that you don't even want to do is not cute. So, like, I'd be weary of people who also, like, socially drink. Because it's like, damn, every time you go out, you gotta drink something just off the strand. I don't know, man. I think there's a big epidemic going on that people are not paying attention to. And it is alcoholism. And the overconsumption of weed. Because let's talk about that, too. Niggas do be overdoing it with the weed. It's like, yo, if you gotta smoke just to eat, you might, you might need to take a break. Hey, girlfriend. Ugly as hell, but it is what it is, though. Like, this is my situation. Take it or damn leave us. We have made a fabulous breakfast sandwich. We need to clean today. My kitchen is a mess. Here's our amazing breakfast sandwich. Eggs, kale, Havarti cheese, some peppers. It's very much yum. And I'm just gonna put some jelly on it. Last little bit of yumminess. I might just dip it in jam. Oh, so let me tell you something. And I notice it every time I straighten my hair. Boys be ready to eat me alive. And it's so unattractive to me because it's like, hmm, I'm still the same person. It's not like you've never seen me before. It's the straight hair, which to me is like, why are you so moved to now go out your way to try and holler at me now, you know, and, and be on my head about trying to take me out? Why now? Because my hair is straight? It just feels like very anti-black to me. Why is it that because my hair is straight now all of a sudden, you know, my phone is ringing and boys are like tearing down my door. It's just like, it's just ugly to me. It just feels it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't be giving nobody play during this time. I really don't. Like for me, it's new energy, fun. I want to be outside because I straighten my hair maybe twice a year. So it's just like a new look for me. But for guys, it's like, what you trying to say? You know what I'm saying? 
Like, why are you getting so, mm -mm. I don't like that. Hey, girls. Up a bit. Anyway, okay. You know what I just thought about? Thought about how much I've been appreciating the silence. And it's not to say that I've been sitting up here being hella productive in, in this silence, but I have appreciated just not talking, not feeling the need to tell folks what I'm doing, when I'm gonna do it, how I'm gonna do it, which doesn't sound like a big deal but when your life has revolved around you creating this relationship with people who you don't know about what's going on in your life there's this normalcy around sharing and sometimes oversharing and it has been really nice not doing that shit i have to be honest because as much as i love having the real real nigga conversations with y'all i really hate people feeling like they have the right to be asking me shit that ain't none of the business or that they have the right to make judgment calls on who i am and all that type of shit because i'm sharing a little bit of this and a little bit of that so all of a sudden they think they know something like that shit starts to bother me after a while i don't even call my friends by name no more because i don't like people asking about my friends it's like you don't know that person why are you asking for about this person by name like that's weird to me and it might not be weird to somebody else that's their prerogative but to me it's just a little too familiar and it starts off innocent and then it turns into entitlement and it turns into some shit it was never supposed to be. And it has been nice just letting my world be my world. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. So anyway, I'm cooking tonight. We got some potatoes that are basically done that are boiling. I'm just doing some mashed potatoes with some salmon and I'm gonna have some kale on the side. I've been eating really good. Um, I didn't really keep up with the no processed sugar thing. I don't know if I shared that on YouTube, but I was like trying to do no processed sugar. And what it ended up turning into was just like, I didn't buy snacks from my house. Like I would eat, if I had sugar, I would eat it if I was at dinner or something with my friend. People be cooking their salmon skin up and I just feel like the salmon dries out when you cook it like that. At least for me, it always does. So I cook my salmon with the skin on the skillet and I just put a, the top to the pot on it. I drizzle olive oil. Like I put the salmon in here to season it and so I put olive oil in there and then I put all my seasoning in there. I use the citrusy garlic seasoning from Trader Joe's, black pepper, paprika, and oregano. And once it's about done, I will, um, squeeze lemon on top and put some honey on there. So when I'm cooking stuff that has like a lot of humidity, like boiling these potatoes, there's a lot of moisture in the air. So I keep my hair in a scarf, like it's clipped. It's not even, I'm pin curling my hair tonight. Cause tonight, what is it, day three? This is when my hair starts getting a little oily and I'm noticing my hair is a little bit, like it's not stringy yet, but it's, it's about to get there. So I have a date on Tuesday, talk to me about it another time. And I'm like, I really hope my hair lasts until then. So we're gonna pin curl tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm trying to decide if I wanna add any anything to my scalp. But I really think I just need to drink water. I think that'll do it. So yeah, I'm gonna finish cooking and then I'll see y'all. Look how beautiful these roses are. And I got them on sale at the grocery store for $2. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey girl, what's going on girl? They're gorgeous. Even these over here, beautiful. Hey lady, hey lady. Cute. You like my voice, it turns you on. This ain't no way till you see it in the door. Get this salmon on this plate. Let's get this salmon on this plate. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. And there we have it. Let me show you. That look good, don't it? Cute. So we got mashed potatoes, we got kale cooked to perfection, and we have this salmon that's also cooked to perfection. Your kale should be bright green like that. It should not be um, damn near brown. Same with spinach. It should be a bright green if it still has the nutrients. If it don't look like that, it's overcooked. My mouth is watering, so. Gotta bless.